Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are looking at Ave Encounters Lego set 75340. This is a Star Wars one. It's an Ave Encounter. We have Ave Encounters. Been doing them all month. Please check out my channel under playlist under Ave Encounters if you have missed any. And please like and subscribe if you do like my content. So without further ado, my name is Eugene, and we're looking at number 15, which is a TIE Fighter. I like this one. Okay, so... Normally, I've been saying that the little ships aren't playable, they aren't displayable, but this one's so recognizable. Um, I like the little build that it did. Um, you could display this. You could easily make more of these uh, by just following the little instruction that you got here. Uh, I like this one a lot, uh, matter of fact. Yeah, um, a little... so. Detail on it. It's black. It has gray. It has a little crystal uh, see-through piece here, which is a kind of a gray see-through one. And it has a little red part right here. Um, with that being said, let's, you know, let's aim it at here. Um, overall, they're small sets, right? They're, they're very small for these, uh, but I do love the todays. But, and then we, we do an over arc on the sense of there's 24 days in this calendar. There is this price range between 24 to 30 if you got it on sale. And then you could be in the price range of uh, much worse in the ballpark of, um, you know, 40 to $60. So whatever you paid for it, I'm going to pretend like um, we paid $24 for it. Hopefully, if you do get this set later on, you can get it on clearance if you haven't gotten already. If you have been following along, um, what are your thoughts? Throw those down in the comments below. Um, but for me, is this one displayable and is it playable for children? So that's how I kind of look at these advent calendars, um, you know, for the adult perspective as, for, as well as the child perspective. Um, child perspective... Absolutely, the Star Wars set so far um, these days, um, the ships are definitely playable. The kid can um, open um, one a day and have fun all day. You know, like you got your little toy and you can play around with it. Um, as an adult, most of these ships are not displayable in my mind, but this one definitely displayable look at look at the coloration on it you can totally just see it and you know it's a little ship you can um you can hang it you know i put a little uh little string there and uh, tie it with a yarn and you can um like you know fishing line and you can definitely display this little one so this one's definitely displayable you can also put it on your you know your rack here um for display purposes next to Darth Vader, which we did pull on the day 12, if you uh, have not been following. That was a beautiful pull. I was super excited about that one. So we have pulled him now. We have pulled him. We're waiting on R2-D2. Maybe R2-D2 is going to be closer to the end. I don't know. I'm kind of excited. Like, if Darth Vader was number 12, who's going to be 24? So, um, in this, it's worth more than a dollar to me. It could be used for parts for you, but it's definitely displayable. I might display this one uh, with my minifigs. I'm not sure. But it is playable. It is displayable. And it definitely has a value more than a dollar. Um, so um, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay collected. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, thanks for watching that last video. If you liked it, why don't you hit the like button? If you don't want to miss out on further content, please subscribe. Or maybe check out the video over here.